with Tulane. A bit of a surprise, but I tell you what, they call themselves the Green Wave. It's been more like a green drought in ranked games. Tulane has lost 60 straight against AP ranked teams. That's the longest streak in the history of the AP poll going back to 1936. That can all end on Saturday against UCF. And Steve, look, I always hesitate to say pressure. I think anytime you're talking about games at this level of college football, there's pressure. But uh, do you think they're aware of this drought? What, how do you think they feel about what they can do and what they can end over the weekend? To add to that history, Wendy, this is the first time they're favored in a game against a ranked team in 60, uh, you know, 69 times in games this happened. This is the first time. So I don't, I, I see what you're saying there with the pressure. You don't want to call pressure. I look at it as opportunity. You got to think Willie Fritz and that staff has had to build this program through COVID the last couple of years, and now they're here. And all season, I looked at their schedule knowing they had these monstrous American Conference games at the back end of their schedule. What would their record look like? They did all the dirty work. They're undefeated in conference play, and now you get a chance to shine and so what you got. And Michael Pratt, the quarterback, has been fantastic. One interception since that Southern Miss loss. So I think you have everything you want. They're 11th in points per game, given up on defense. You got a quarterback that doesn't turn it over. I really like Tulane's chances against UCF. And Willie Fritz has been a program builder. Everywhere he's been, he's taken programs that have struggled and have them be successful programs. Going back to 93 when he coached at Blinn Junior College. Coming into that year, they were 5-24-1. Well, then in the two, three years since then, he turned them into a 36-5-1 team. Georgia Southern, he turned into a winning program. Everywhere he's been, he's won. And so that's why I'm not overly concerned with the pressure that he may feel. He knows how to prepare his team for success. He's done it consistently mm -hmm. for the last 20, 30 years. I think he's only had five losing seasons out of all the time he's been a head coach since 93. And so he, he's ready for it. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.